everyone, welcome to Easy Jobs, a smart recruitment talent sourcing solution that comes with tons of features to help you streamline your entire hiring process. From creating branded career pages, onboarding the right talent, and enhancing your employer brand, Easy Jobs is the ultimate recruitment solution for your team. And today, we are going to show you how easily you can get started with Easy Jobs. Before we get started, Let's take a quick look at the topics we're going to cover so you can learn how to use EasyJobs and all of its amazing features. Let's start by creating your account on EasyJobs. First, head over to the EasyJobs website. Next, scroll down to the pricing section. From here, you can choose your preferred pricing plan. You can always get started with EasyJobs for free. Click on the sign up button. Add your name, email address, and other details to create your account. From here, you can choose which pricing plan you want to pick. You can choose between monthly, yearly, and lifetime plans. After selecting your preferred pricing plan, add the details of your company, including your company name, phone number, the industry your business is in, company website URL, and the number of employees you have. Make sure to hit the Terms and Policy button and then click Get Started. You will get an email verification link. Head over to your email inbox. Click on the link to verify your EasyJobs account. Once you've verified your email address, you can log into your EasyJobs account and take a look at your dashboard. Now we're going to show you how you can verify your company with EasyJobs. Head over to the Settings tab, then add your website URL from the basic information. Click on the Save button and then click on the Details option at the top of the page. From here, follow the on-screen instructions to add your text verification and then verify your DNS. For more details, make sure to check our documentation on how to verify your company with EasyJobs. The link is added in the description box below. Now, let's start by setting up your company profile with EasyJobs. Once your account has been verified, you can log back into your EasyJobs account. Now, we can start setting up your company with EasyJobs. We're going to start by heading over to the Settings tab. From here, we can at the basic information of your company. As you can see, your company name, phone number, as well as the website will, has already been added. You can add further details such as your company address, location, the language you will be using, as well as a short description to describe your company details. Don't forget to add your company benefits. This will help job seekers to find out why they should apply to job posts within your company. You can also choose to show the job filter on your company page. This will make it easy for job seekers to filter available job vacancies according to their role or position. If you want, you can also enable search engine indexing for your company page. This will help job seekers to find your company page on search engines like Google. For now, we will keep this disabled as we are not done setting up our companies. Now let's save our changes and start adding company logo and favicon. To do this, we will head over to the photos and colors options from the settings tab. By clicking on the change logo option, we can choose a logo for our company. You can resize the logo to suit your needs. In the same way, add your company favicon. You can also choose your company's brand colors. Now, we are going to add a cover photo for our company. As always, you can resize the image as needed. Make sure to add more photos so that job seekers can understand what it would be like to work at your company. You can add photos of your team members as well as your workspace. Now, let's move on to the templates section. From here, you can choose from these ready templates to decide how you want your company page to appear. When you click on the preview button, you will see how your company page will appear to job seekers. 
Now, let's get started by creating our very first job post. To create your very first job post, click on the Jobs tab as shown and then click on the Create a new job post button. You can easily choose from ready job templates. Click on the select a template and then select the industry from which you want to add your job post. You can also select a template by searching with the job title. If you want to create your job post from scratch, start by adding your job title. Afterwards, add your job details as well as job responsibilities. Next, choose a category for your job position. Add the number of vacancies available. You can decide whether this will be a remote job or not. Add the country, location. Make sure to add the job expiry date. This is also known as the job deadline. From the Add Skills option, you can choose from the list of required skills that you're looking for in your ideal candidate. Now, make sure to select your employment type, whether it will be a full-time job, contractual or permanent job. Add the experience level, your salary type, as well as the exact salary amount. Next, make sure you add the office timings. From here, you can also choose whether to show or hide your company benefits. Now add a banner image for this particular job post. Make sure to save your changes. In the next step, we're going to add a quiz to help you screen the right candidate for your job position. First, we're going to start by creating a question set. To do this, click on the evaluation tab and then click on question set. Click on the add new set button and then choose the type of question set this will be. You can choose from screening test or quiz test. Now, click on the add question button to add your very first question. You can choose text-based questions or multiple choice questions. Make sure to add the options for the answers. Use the check boxes to mark the correct answer. You have the option to select more than one correct answers. Repeat this step to add more questions to your question sets. Once you click on the Save Question Set button, you will see that your question set is ready. In the same way, you can add as many screening tests or quiz tests as you want. Now let's see how you can add these screening tests to your job post. When you head over to the second step of your job creation process, you can choose from any of your existing question sets. As you can see, when you select a question set, all the questions will be instantly inserted. Feel free to add even more questions or delete any questions as you need to. Next, add the quiz duration in minutes as well as the marks per question. Click Save and Publish. Before you can publish your job post, a pop-up will appear where you will have to add some more details. This is where you can add custom job application fields. Choose as many fields as you need to and then click on the Save and Publish button. Your job post is published. Now you can feel free to share it on your social platforms. Click on the View Company Page button to check out what your company page will look like. From here, you can see that your published job post is visible. You can click on the job title to see what your published post will look like. Now we are going to show you how to set up your recruitment pipeline with a few simple steps using EasyJobs. To set up your pipeline, click on Settings 
and then head over to the pipeline setup option. Click on the add new pipeline button, add a name for the pipeline as well as a title. Now you can simply start adding all the required steps for your hiring pipeline. Click save and continue. As you can see, your pipeline has been created. You can click on any job post and edit the pipeline for that particular job at any time you want. Now let's see how you can manage your recruitment team with EasyJobs. From the settings, click on Manage Users. Here you can add new team members using their email. Assign them selected roles. And then choose what kind of access you want your team members to have. You can customize these permissions for every role however you want. Click on save and continue and repeat that process to add more team members. Let's see how we can set up emails to streamline your entire hiring process with EasyJobs. Again from the settings tab, click on email setup. From here you'll see that there are already a few ready emails already added to your EasyJobs. Click on SMTP setup. Here add the company sender email address. Add your host name, port, username and password. And then hit the submit button. You can choose to turn on email notifications for each of these emails. You can also customize the email templates however you need to. Now let's see how we can add a custom domain for your company page with EasyJobs. From the settings tab, click on custom domain. To add your custom domain, you will need to create a CNAME record from your DNS settings. You can find another full step-by-step -step video for adding custom domain in EasyJobs in the description below. Follow those steps given in that tutorial and then add the custom domain. Next, we are going to show you how to configure candidate apply settings. These will help you decide how any job seeker can sign up and apply to job post. Click on settings and then click on the candidate apply settings option. From here, you can choose how a candidate will sign up to apply to your job post. You can allow them to sign in using their Google account, LinkedIn account or with their own EasyJobs account. You can also enable the option to attach their resume with their emails. Besides this, you can also add custom job application fields for your candidates. Then add the name for that particular field and then click on the Save Changes button. When you go to any published jobs, you can easily add these custom fields anytime you want. Now let's see how we can set up AI screening with EasyJobs. From the settings tab, click on the AI setup, turn on the AI score option and then run the process. This will initialize the AI scoring process. When you head over to your dashboard, you can now see that each of the candidates will have a weighted average score. These scores will be based on their performance on quiz, screening questions as well as their job experience and resume. Setting up AI screening system with EasyJobs is a pretty long process, so make sure to check out the full tutorial. The link has been given in the description box below. If you already have a WordPress website, you'll be glad to know that you can easily connect your EasyJobs account with your WordPress website. EasyJobs comes with its own plugin for WordPress. Head over to your WordPress dashboard and click on the Add New button. 
then search for easy jobs install the plugin and activate it after activating the plugin click on the get started button add your email address and password and sign into your account just like before we are going to set up your career page and create your first job post except this time we will be doing it on wordpress click on the setup career page button if you have already created your career page you will see that it appears in your wordpress customizer you can make any changes here as you want click on the publish button to make this page live on your wordpress website When you head over to your EasyJobs dashboard from your WordPress website, you can view all of your recent job applications, candidates, published job posts and more at a glance. And also check your settings from within your WordPress dashboard. You also have the option to add landing pages and job posts on your WordPress website using shortcodes with EasyJobs. If you use Elementor on your WordPress website, then you can also integrate Elementor with EasyJobs. For the Elementor website builder, EasyJobs comes with two different widgets, the EasyJobs landing page widget as well as EasyJobs job list widget. Simply drag and drop any of these widgets into your Elementor editor, then configure the content, style and advanced settings to customize your landing page or job post list page however you need to. Now we've covered most of the basics of using EasyJobs. Now let's see how we can set up remote hiring with this smart recruitment solution. Head over to your EasyJobs dashboard, click on settings and then navigate to the integrations tab. To set up remote hiring, we can integrate EasyJobs with Zoom. This way you can conduct remote interviews for your candidates. Besides this, you can also integrate EasyJobs with Nuvo and Google Jobs so that your job posts are available on these platforms as well. With this, we are going to wrap up our tutorial for getting started with EasyJobs. We have lots of videos available to help you out for every step of the process. Make sure to check out our videos, our blog posts and documentations and start streamlining your hiring process with EasyJobs today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so that you can get updated for new tutorials. Thank you for watching.